The first Docker commands you need to know are related to images. So there's three of them. Docker images that will list out all the images you have. Docker pool that will download an image that will pull an image and Docker RMI that will delete an image. So let's look at those three commands and we're going to look at MySQL. We're just going to use MySQL image as an example because the database that everybody just knows. So MySQL is just a program. If you're not familiar with it, just think of it as just one application that you want to run. Okay. So when you come to the website, there's a bunch of tags. Uh, we're going to talk about those tags. So we're going to go to the terminal. The first thing is Docker images. This will list out all the available images on your local. I have nothing. If I open my desktop, like I said, I don't like to use the desktop, but I'm going to just show it uh, for now. Okay. So I'm going to do images. As you can see, there is nothing. So the first command is Docker images. The next command is going to be Docker pull, which is you're going to pull the image. It's just like doing git clone. It's kind of like git clone. It is more like git clone than git pull, even though the word pull, uh, but Docker pool is like git clone. You're just going to download an image. So I'm going to do Docker pool and I'm going to say MySQL. When I do that, it's going to automatically assume I want the latest tag and it's going to download the latest. I'm going to show you what happens when you want to specify a specific version as well. So we're going to wait for this to finish. Once this is done, we do Docker images. You will see that the MySQL image is downloaded and available. All right. So the image finished downloading, right? I got basically, if you don't get an error, that means it finished. I'm going to clear my screen and now I'm going to do Docker images to list out the available images. Now you can see I have one image, my SQL image, the tag is latest and there's an ID when, when was the image created? So now when I was, when I pulled it, but when the image was created, now I could repeat the same command, but instead of saying, just not giving it a tag, I'm going to say, I'm going to look at what are the available tags. I can just say, let's say I want to do 9.3. I'm going to do 9.3, hit enter. And this is going to pull a specific version of the, the image. It looks like the latest in 9.3 have the same layer. So it didn't do much, but if I do Docker images, now I have both of them. I have 9.3 and I have latest. So Docker images will show you whatever images you have on your machine. And the third command you got to know is how to delete an image. And that is going to be Docker RMI. So you're going to need the image name or the image ID. So you're going to do Docker images to get that information. Then you're going to do Docker RMI remove image RMI. And then you're going to give it my SQL and the tag. In this case, uh, both of them have the same IDs, right? The latest one and the 9.3. So it's a little tricky when you're trying to delete it by the ID because they have multiple images with the same ID. But when you're trying to give it the name, it works. And now if I do Docker R M uh, Docker images, now only one of the images left. If I want to delete that one, I can do Docker R M I, and I can just take the ID, give it that ID, hit enter, and delete it. If I do Docker images now, there's nothing, right? So those are the three Docker commands you you're going to learn first.